Hello and welcome to another Crystal Reports XI training video. In this video, rather than demonstrate fundamental concepts, what I'm going to do is show you a trick of the trade. This video is focused at people who already have a lot of familiarity and probably already work with Crystal Reports XI. I'm just going to show you something that might make your working with this tool a little bit easier. We're going to be talking about using Excel as a temporary data source. So why would we use Excel as a temporary data source? Well, we are going to talk about that. And then after we talk about it, I'm going to tell, show you how to build a demo report using Excel data. And then I'm going to show you how to take that report and redirect it towards another actual database. So why again am I using Excel as a temporary data source? Well, sometimes you just don't have access to a preferred database. So if a company with some confidential data came up to me and asked me to write a report off of a table, but they wouldn't allow me to actually look at the data itself, maybe they could send an Excel dump with the necessary uh, fields that they want to report on, and I can build a report based off an Excel dump of the table. Or maybe I'm... Uh, building a report from home and I don't have access to the database which is at work but I already know the names of some of the fields so I build an Excel sheet and fill it with dummy data and that's how I can actually build the report. Another reason why you might want to do this is you may have um, some familiarity with databases that are already out there so maybe if you're familiar with SAP or some of the call tracking applications out there like uh, BMC Service Desk Direct or OVSD or ServiceNow, um, building your reports in Excel is a good alternative if you want to build a report you can hand out to people later on that they can just redirect to their own database that you know of. And the last and one of the most useful reasons you would use Excel as a temporary data source is to create dummy data. So perhaps you're building a report to capture scenarios that don't necessarily exist in the database at the time. So you build some dummy data into the table to validate that your report will actually do what you think it's going to do. Okay, so let's try and imagine a real world scenario. I'm going to open up Crystal Reports and um, we're just going to take a look at the extreme sample database that comes with the application. So I'm going to create a new blank report And when you create a new blank report, of course, it, it brings up the database expert asking you to connect to a database. We have several options, but I'm going to go to the ODBC options and link up to Extreme Sample Database 11. Expand that. Grab the orders table. And that's what we're going to start our report with. So let's pretend that the Extreme Sample Database is unreachable towards us, but we know roughly what it looks like. So the extreme company is going to ask us to build a report based on order ID, customer ID, ship date, uh, shipped via, and that kind of stuff. So we already know what the data structure looks like. We just don't have any access to that data. Or alternatively, they've just sent us an Excel dump of the data, but they want our report to run against the real database. So what I've gone ahead and done is I've built this Excel sheet, okay? And you'll see that the columns are very familiar to us since we've looked at that extreme sample database. So it's got an order ID, it's got a customer ID, order date, ship date, and ship via. So basically the extreme people have sent us over this dump of their data and they're like, please build us a report uh, that we can link up to our own database later on. I'm just going to close this Excel window and then I'm going to close the report. So now um, we're pretending that we've got that copy of the Excel file and we're going to build a report against it. So I'm going to go create a new blank report. In my database expert, I'm going to go to access and Excel and I'm going to grab a database 
If you want a fuller demonstration of how to do this, my previous video should have shown you how, so you can go back and watch that. I'm going to click that extreme sample.xls, open it, finish. Whoops, made a mistake of, I have to change the database type to Excel. Finish. Okay, and uh, look at sheet one, that's the information I want to bring over. And I click OK. And I expand my database field. And I see these familiar column headers. So I'm going to grab order ID, customer ID, order date, ship date, and ship via. And then maybe we're, uh, we're going to format this up a bit. Uh, maybe they wanted us to group it by customer ID, so I'm just going to insert a group really quick. Group it by customer ID. And we're just going to fancy it up a bit. Just going insert to insert a section here. Okay, and then we're just going to run it by hitting F5, and there's all our data. It's grouped by customer. Just going to format this up a bit. Okay, so we've we've built this report, but the problem is it's against a. Excel database. So we're just going to save it. And I'm going to save it to my desktop as stream sample. And then we would send this to our client and whatnot. We're going to close out of the report, go back to our start page. And now we're going to imagine ourselves on the receiving end of that report. So someone has sent us that report, extreme sample. And it's linked to an Excel sheet, but what we want to do is link it up to the actual Extreme database. So I'm going to open up the Extreme Sample RPT. And again, the problem is it's not pointing to our real Extreme database. It's pointing towards an Excel file. So to change that, we go to Database Expert. Or sorry, Database and Set Data Source Location. You click that, and it opens a brand new interface. It shows you where the current data source is located, and on the bottom it shows you um, the data source locator. So I'm going to create a new connection using the ODBC RDO. Um, sometimes it knows what, what the last database you connected to, otherwise you click make new connection. You pick the necessary ODBC driver, so I'm going to use the extreme sample database. Next. My Excel sheet is not um, doesn't have any security, so I'm just going to hit finish. Now what you have to do is use this update button. So you take the table or view from your from your uh, temporary database, the one we were working on in Excel in this case, and update it with the view or table of your destination database. So in my extreme sample database 11, there is an orders table, and that is what I want my report to point to, rather than just this Excel sheet. So I've got sheet one highlighted up here, orders highlighted down here, and I'm clicking update. And now I hit close. You'll notice that up here it's changed. It's saying extreme sample database, rather than giving a mapping to the Excel sheet. And I hit close. And now my report is pointing at the extreme sample database. So you notice it's got all these extra fields that weren't on my Excel sheet, and that's because it's pointing at the actual real database that we wanted it to. So I hit F5 just to make sure everything runs. Everything runs perfectly. It's the same data. I've successfully connected my uh, report to the new database. So understanding how to use that set data source location will help you, um, especially when you're building reports based off an Excel document. 
So after this video, I want you to know why that functional functionality might be useful. And I want you to know how to redirect a report to a new data source. And this will give you the ability to be more flexible when doing crystal report work. I'd like to thank you for watching and I hope you join me on future videos.